Well, all right. Uh huh. So I'm back on the bus. Back on the bus, and I'm on Sepulveda. Um, I'm gonna have to make a stop first, but uh, Ramadan, because you know everything be closed. You know you can't go to the bathroom nowhere. That shit's corny. I don't like it. And today I'm gonna do something about it because I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna do something about it today. So. uh I'm going to, uh, I'm, I don't know why we're stopped. We're not moving. I don't know. Can y'all see that? The door is open. We're just sitting here chilling. Not moving at all. So that means I'm going to be getting off a little earlier and getting back on the bus. I'm going to get off the bus and get back on the bus because um, I know where I can use the bathroom. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold this all the way to where I'm going. They ain't had no bathrooms. None. Zero. And that's fine, but uh, we need to do better. Like, if people going to be in places, like, you know, spending their money, I get it. Close the dining room, but open the bathroom. Like, what the hell? That's where you wash your hands at anyway. If somebody is coming in there to buy food. Like, let's think about this logic real quick. Because, you know, I'm one of those people. If somebody, you got a place that's open, whatever. It could be a food place, store place, uh, clothing place, wh- wherever the places are that's open. People coming in there to patronize the business, to keep the business open. You're at work. It's helping you make money because you got bills to pay. We get that. Why leave the bathroom lot so that they can't use it? They got to, I mean, if anything, they're going to wash their hands. Even if they don't because they're nasty like that, which is horrible, they were that way before they came to you. So who knows where the fuck they came from before they came and patronized your business. They, they was that way anyway. And a lot of the places that I'm going to, they have gloves and stuff on, which is good. It's good. But it's like you got your gloves on and all that stuff anyway. And once y'all realize that, like, um, from the research that I'm, like, learning or whatever, this thing is airborne, first of all. So if we breathe in the air and all that shit and we got it, then you got it. it it's, it's really that, that easy, that simple. All right. And yeah, it's wrong to sit up here and do a bunch of discriminatory practices towards people. So just assume everybody got it the way y'all doing. That's why people got their mask on. That's why stuff is closing. That's why they got gloves on. But open a fucking bathroom. Like, let's not be idiots out here. People got to use it. Like, it's it's like... They're going to do that anyway. You know what I'm saying? Period. Just close the dining room. That's it. Let people pee and wash their hands. Like that's just that's just dumb. I'm just I'm sorry. You're not gonna get me to agree with you on the logic in that. Well, no, there's all type of bacteria and stuff in bathrooms. Okay, there's all type of bacteria and stuff like that in parking lots. Door handles. Money. There's all kind of money's dirty. It's all kind of stuff and germies and all of that stuff in that. Open the bathrooms up. Stop being a dickhead. Um, we're still sitting here. We still sitting here. It's a virus. I get it, but medical professionals, researchers are saying that it's airborne. So there you go. Either way, either way, not going, not stopping people from going to the bathroom ain't really doing nothing. What's been curing it in other countries is antibodies that they developed, and the treatment takes six days. So if you do get it, you can be cured in six days. The problem is, and I learned this yesterday, I knew this because I'm black. I've been through this. 
but you know there's a different America for everybody um it's becoming um common knowledge like the secret is out about America we're like the richest country in the world but we have the what we take care we we take care of our people the least we take care of our citizens the least everybody else even third world countries has got this are doing better at treating their people than we are and we one of the richest countries in the world Canada ain't worried about shit. They got universal health care. So does the UK. They like, all right. <laughs> they got universal health care. Which should really put some fire under some Democrats' ass to do stuff, but they not. Trump gonna get reelected. It, we already see what's going on. Like, but even Trump, like he should do universal health care, fix this shit. Y'all got more money to save and bail out banks with the Federal Reserve than y'all do with the fucking hospitals. And, and shit people need for the public. This is just like having high schools but y'all don't teach taxes but everybody gotta pay taxes. It's really, you know, just some stupid shit. Honestly. But, okay. I live here. It is what it is. I'ma just, uh, mind my business and stick to my tarot cards, fam. I'm just gonna do that. Um, I was gonna share something. Yeah, but oh, uh, real quick, one more thing. So I've heard this over and over in the news. I heard it multiple times, but like yesterday, I was reading Newsweek. Okay, see, that's the thing. I was doing my little research. I was trying to absorb as much knowledge as possible because I want to know what's happening and I want to be, you know, um, as factual as I can be. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's the beauty about having smartphones and the internet and all that stuff. The information is out there if you look for it, you know? And so instead of like the hearsay and the emotionalism, I wanted to know, well, what's, what's, what's facts? What do we know so far? What's up? Tell me. And when I looked and saw 11,000 people worldwide, global, it's claimed 11,000 lives. And there's only 300,000 cases. And I'm looking at what we do and I'm like, this is bull. If y'all don't fucking close one casino, <laughs> the fuck? We don't have enough uh, ventilators. We don't have enough. We don't have shit because our medical system is all private and for profit. Period. That's where the breakdown of all this happens. So you know, let's just say hypothetically, right? You know, we get smacked with a million cases of like people that got that shit. They don't have nowhere to go to get service, like, it, especially depending on who they are and what their social economic situation is. Whereas in other countries, they're like, yeah, come on, we got it. Come on, come on. All right, what you, huh? What you here for? Huh? Speak up, Agnes. I can't hear you. What you here for? Okay, cool. Like, in other countries, they, they own it. We over here like, uh, shit. Won't have no re Hey, stay in your house. It'll go. Like, that's the shit we are. We own some ghetto shit as a nation. <laughs> we are all ghetto together okay and before people come in my lives talking stupid shit because they don't read books the original term of where ghettos came from was during the holocaust when they were sectioning people off into special neighborhoods and they called those ghettos all right america itself we're a ghetto all over we ghetto as hell just in our houses and <laughs> 